Okay, here's a look at the new Fans Toys FT26 Hitch. So let's take a close-up look at him. Let's take a close-up look at that head. Really nicely sculpted head. Very cartoon accurate with a nice metallic blue visor. And he has this uh, thing up here. I don't know what it is, but it's made out of die cast. So that's nice. You don't have to worry about breaking it. His shoulders, very simple design. His arms, this uh, cannon, this other arm with his hand. Nicely articulated hands. His chest, you need that Autobot symbol. His hips. Very simple, the chrome plated legs, silver painted feet, really nice. Look at the chrome plated wheels, there's the side view. Let's take a look at the back, those nice simple wings. Back, so that's just a quick look at hoist, really nice. So let's take a quick look compared to the animation model. And you can see, I think they did a, a really nice job with the exception of this uh, chrome. I mean, that's just my personal nitpick with this figure, but this is really a nice figure. So now let's uh, go over what it, other things it comes with, the instructions manual. So here you can see it's white arms, white legs, which makes me wonder if this is going to be re-released as a tune version. So I would have to buy another one. So inside you can see what it comes with. And the back, there's the QR code if you want. So now let's take a look at the accessories. It comes with uh, two extra heads. This is uh, the toy version. So this is uh, actually very accurate to the toy. So that's really nice. And then you get an alternative head with this thing attached to it so you don't have to remove it when you're transforming the figure. So that's nice. And then you get uh, this face mask from that episode, Hoist Goes to Hollywood. <laughs> This is very cartoon accurate, so that's really cool. And then you have uh, an extra hand, so you can have it like the toy if you want. What's cool about this is this is a very articulated uh, hand with uh, fingers on two joints, all four of them, with the new uh, pointed finger design, so that's really nice. Okay, and the last thing is the uh, bio card. Another image, with the white arms and legs. Then the back with the text. And unless you zoom in like this with the lens, you cannot read this bio. But there you go, you can pause it. And uh, that's a quick look at the bio card. Okay, so I guess I'll just do some quick articulation. I mean, that's not really my thing, but arms can go up and down. You go on a soft ratchet here. Arms can swivel. Uh, hands can rotate around. Like I said, nicely articulated fingers. The hips can go up and down on a ratchet. They can go out. They can rotate at this leg, which I did. And it does actually bend back here, no ratchet. The feet, not really too much up and down, but you do get an ankle rocker. The head does uh, rotate, does kind of go up a little bit, not too much. So, and let's see, it does swivel around the waist. Not, no ab crunch. So that's just a quick 
look at articulation. So now let's uh, do transformation. Okay, so first things first, always want to remove the accessories. So you just um, take this off. Like I said, this is die cast, so that's cool. You don't have to worry about breaking it. Okay, push in the cannon. And I like to rotate this around 180, help with the transformation, 180. And then, let's see, from the back, let's see, I want to pull out this orange back. Uh, and then, once you do that, you can lift it up 90 degrees and push it back in to hold it in place. And then you can start uh, bringing out the the sides of the back of the car and this piece you want to untab it right there <clears throat> so you can rotate the center orange piece around 90 degrees like so so then you can then bring down this flap of the center piece and form the back of the vehicle right there this bar slides down here, so pull it back, spring it down. Actually, you have an option. You can, after you put the head in, you can put it over or you can leave it out to carry a vehicle. I'm going to leave it out. So now let's fold down these uh, wings, lift this up. And now, what you want to do here is pull up this head, rotate it. 180 and lift up the top of his head and then you can bring this down like so close it and like I said you have an option you can leave this down or before you close this you can put it up I'm gonna leave it down okay so now these arms I like to just uh, bring these out to the side like so and then lift this up now you can see these are supposed to go in there so let's bring these up and this is not too hard you just have to know that it's like on a double hinge so you just have fun getting this to go in uh, like so or actually I forgot a step you want to um, tab fold in these tabs there's actually two more here on the front of the vehicle so fold those in so one two three four tabs you want to fold in okay where was I now just uh, get this arm in like so make sure this hand is opened up like so now do the same on this side just uh, kind of rock this in here until it goes in. Once you got it in, make sure it's all. Make sure it's in. Make sure it's all flat. I don't think this is flat, so I'm just gonna try again. I think it's a. Uh, well, yeah, the arm, there you go. So, got the arms in. And then now, while you got these sides up, open, lift up these side windows. And then now, what you wanna do is tab this in from the front here. And then you can see it's supposed to go in there. There's another tab back here, so get that in Just kind of uh, open that up a little bit try to get that in once you do then you can close it same thing on this side get this piece tapped in you want to get that in open up this back a little bit get some room get that in and once you get it in, then you can close it up. Make sure that uh, stays in. OK. 
Okay, now you got the vehicle. Now for the legs, let's come back here. Let's uh, bring these down on a double hinge. And then, let's see these flat pieces, what you wanna do is pull this out on the bar, then rotate it up to the back, fold this in, lift this up, bring it to the top like that and push it down. Same thing this side, pull it out. And you can rotate it up, fold this down, lift this up, bring it down and push it in. Okay. Now what you want to do is lift these legs up until they line up together. And on the bottom, there's a tab. You want to bring that out so you can tab both these legs together like so. Okay, now this front, you want to push down these tires. So now the green's showing. Then the feet, bring these down. And then you can lift with the feet down. Okay, now you got this all set up, ready to go inside. And this is where you just have to be very careful to make sure you got everything all lined up straight. And if you got it all straight, it's going in. What I like to do here, let me just make sure, that's what I thought, that hand came down. You gotta make sure that hand's open. Okay, make sure it's going in all straight. This is probably just the only tricky part here. And then I like to give it a good lock. It's all in. Very nice. So now we got hoist in his vehicle mode. So now let's uh, take a quick look. Actually, I forgot a step. We want to lift up these uh, side mirrors. Okay, so let's take a look. It's a side view, really nice. Very simple design. It's the front with that chrome grill. The top view, the back, the bottom. This cleans up uh, really, really nice. So now let's uh, compare this with the animation model. And uh, you can see it's very close. Just um, that front grill should be green, not silver. There should actually be a little white stripe on top of that black stripe going across the, the vehicle. But it's uh, very close. And it actually makes me wonder if they're going to release a toon version to be more cartoon accurate. But I suspect Takata, if and when they make theirs, you know that uh, you're probably going to get uh, two versions. So that's a quick look at uh, Hoist um, from robot to vehicle. And now, just to transform it back to robot mode, I uh, basically do the reverse. So just bring down these legs and then split this legs in half and then bring these down and adjust it. So it lines up uh, kind of straight like so. Okay, then you can uh, lift these uh, pieces up. And then you can uh, ro lift this up, rotate it around, open this flap, bring this flap down, and then push in that tab, and then you can bring it here, tab it in. Same thing on this side, lift this up, rotate it, open the flap, bring this flap down, rotate it in, and tab it in. Lift up these feet, 
bring up these bottom pieces to lock the foot. Same on this side. Okay, now you've got the uh, feet all done. Now, let's see up here, you want to untab uh, these vehicle parts here. Open this up, fold in the window. You can bring this down like so. And then let's do it on this side, untab it. Put this back piece, you can untab this. Bring this arm out, fold in the window, rotate it down. Okay, let's uh, bring this down and just get this arm situated, rotate it back 180, 180. You can pull out this cannon. Okay, these uh, side view mirrors, bring it down and then fix the top of the shoulders here, tabs in. Do the same on this side, bring down the window and let's see, just uh, rotate this in to form the shoulder. Okay, let's adjust these arms. Okay, now back here. Let me uh, get this back up so you can see. Okay, so lift this up, lift up the head, rotate it 180, and push it down really hard. Try to get that neck piece to be flush. Bring down the top of his head. There you go. Now's a good time to tab in his uh, whatever this is. It goes in right. Uh, there, give it a good squeeze. Okay, now let's see. You want to, those four tabs, the two tabs in here, they're a little hard to get to. This is where you could probably use a spudger. Uh, probably make it a little easier. Uh, trying to get my thumb in there. Okay, rotate that, do the same on this side. Okay, one, two, and these two right here. One, two, so four tabs you gotta open up and close it when you're doing vehicle. So now, let's see, I want to fold in back of these side of the vehicle, untab the center, the center orange piece, you want to rotate it 90 degrees, and then uh, let's see, you can bring this in, and it has to rotate back on this bar, so bring it forward, and then you can, uh, let's see, tab that in right there. Okay, once you Got that, then you can close this. And let's see, make sure all the tabs are open. Then you can pull this, extend this back so you can bend it now. And then it's uh, gonna tab in. I forgot here, just fold this uh, small piece here and up like so. And then once you got it lined up, then you can push it in, <laughs> you got it all lined up, it should uh, push in nicely, heard that snap, so that went in, and then you can rotate these uh, wings up, and now we got hoist back in robot mode. Okay, and then you could just pose this accordingly to the way that you want. I like to adjust this down. What I like to do is uh, kind of rotate these legs out, make it look a little bit more natural. So that's uh, the new Fans Toys uh, transformation and some articulation.
And I guess one other thing I could do is just some quick comparison. So here is the Xtransbots version, just so you can compare. I did a video comparison review, so if you want to see comparison and my thoughts, you can check that out. But here's just uh, another look, comparing the two. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say anything. I already said that in my comparison video, so that's that. And another comparison I think is really important with his buddy Grapple, the official Takata Grapple. Fans Toys is just a little bit too tall. <laughs> like a lot of their figures, I think, are a little too tall, but very heroic looking. So, I don't know if Fans Toys is going to make a Grapple version. I doubt it. But this is what we got. So, it looks good. And I know when, if and when Takata makes their version, it's going to fit in really nicely with the official Grapple. So that's it. That's uh, my review for uh, the new Fans Toys FT26 Hitch, aka Tra uh, Hoist. <laughs>